Okay, we're going right into this extended. Did you see the bottom of the deck? I cannot. We're doing the bottom of the deck right now, and then we can, like, clarify whatevs later, because this is, like, too much. Look at this. The Hermit. I... <laughs> The Emperor, the Eight of Pentacles, the Fool, Five of Swords, Six of Cups. Okay. Cancer, if you are dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio, a Virgo, or someone that has just like been the one, always the one, has always been the one. That person is showing up here as someone who really wants to put the work in. That person is showing up as someone who's had some sort of like strange revelatory moment about like how they've been and how, how they have been in the past and way, where they were, you know, essentially lying to themselves. They've gained this new understanding of themselves and they can see the, the, the flaws in their own character. Uh, which is kind of amazing, right? Like, and so they're coming to you. This is all energy that's, you know, approaching you, coming to you and saying, hey, you know, I have realized some stuff. And it's also a message for you to completely pull back and do nothing and be completely receptive and don't reach out and don't do anything. Just pull all the way back. And then the next one saying, you know, I have control of the situation that I'm going to make the effort and I'm going to make it happen. Yet another indication for you to pull back and wait and wait for this Aries energy to really, you know, pounce on you, wait for the Scorpio energy to really, you know, run to you. And then the eight of pentacles, both of these energies, whether they're the same person or two different people, <clears throat> both of the cancer rising, both of these people are now approaching you with the same exact intention which is I want to work I want to work on this I want to work for this I'm all about this like please trust me I can do this and when you look more deeply into why this person now has so radically you know changed their tune what you find is that they've had some experiences where they've had to take some risks and they've had to be out there in the world solo in so many ways. Maybe because you cut, maybe because you cut them off, maybe because of something else, maybe you started seeing somebody else. Something happened where they really felt for a moment the loneliness of it, right? Once that happened, they understood something. You know, the Fool card is about having an epiphany. It's about having a moment. It's about understanding something that changes you, that makes you new again, that gives you a new perspective. Right? And what the new perspective was in this case was where in your collective lives that person wasn't necessarily being the most honest with you. And, and it makes sense that they're going to be this way because, you know, even if they're not, it's going to come out. Even if they're not the ones who acknowledge it and come to you and acknowledge it within themselves and say, yeah, I have been like that, it's going to come out anyway. You know, it's going to come out anyway. So better for that person to acknowledge it within themselves and make it something positive and peaceful and productive instead of, you know, what could turn into this accusatory, really unpleasant situation. Instead, they're acknowledging that within themselves, themselves, to you admitting that, and really, you know, coming to you with this really genuine, like, but I really feel like we should be together. And they're going to make a pretty strong case for it. And although you may feel that hesitation of like, you know, I don't really know if I can trust you. Like you've really been trying it. I don't, you know, I really don't know. You're too good at this. It, you know, 